Hey guys, Stake here for Games Defined and welcome to part 2 of Modeling Thor's Hammer. In this one we're going to do the handle and the little strap at the top. Now, I was doing some messing around after I finished the video and the details on the reference image you can see here are um, a bit over the top for the tutorial that I'm doing so I just found a random pattern and then put it on a plane and then made the shape with the line tool and then extruded it and added lines and stuff if you want me to I will do a tutorial on on you know this whole process just let me know in the comments or messages and I'll get on it so first thing we're gonna do is for once not use a reference image we're gonna get a cylinder and we'll do this on the front view and then turn the handle over because it should really be coming out there not up there so if we just do any size for now any size again and then just rotate it 90 degrees to face up and 10 degrees to the right to make this line dead in the center now what we need to do is making sure the uh, edge faces is on we need to align this to the middle of this line and this line because it the handle is pretty much in the middle of these so in the front view if you just do it by eye firstly what I'm going to do is set the radius so the radius is 15 centimeters and the height is 295 centimeters so if you just put this in the middle think that looks alright in fact we don't really need to at this at the minute yeah because uh, we're gonna be rotating it all about anyway so in fact we don't need anything else we just need this on its own so once that's done convert it to an editable poly delete the bottom because we won't need it so to do that the quick way just press the middle click the middle vertex and then holding control press polygon if these will be selected then click grow and then delete we'll leave the top for now even though that will be not really needed just delete these lines because they're not needed either holding control and pressing backspace Okay, so we need these kind of grooves coming up. So instead of putting them into this, what we're going to do is model them separately. So, in fact, we just hold Control, press V to clone this, and just name it something random, and then hold Alt, press X to go to X-ray mode, and then scale it out. A little bit pretty much until these two lines these two ones here line up with the edge of the one we've just cloned that's a good reference and then put the height down to about there I think Think that looks good because we're going to move some vertices around and this is going to be the highest point and this is going to be from the top and this is going to be the highest point on the bottom which might not make a lot of sense but we'll go through it now firstly I forgot to do the most important thing and add the materials change the base color and there we go right in vertex mode you want to click hold control select these ones and then just drag them down a little bit like that then do the same 
for the other outer ones like that and then let's just see yep oops and then the same for these do them a bit further down are we in yeah we are them a bit further down and then finally the end ones a bit further down like that and that's what you should have don't worry about the bottom bit now we can you can make this shape whatever shape you want that is up to you so once that's done what I want to do is go to wireframe view and just select the middle vertex and again hold control and grow it and then delete it press F3 and then just move that to check you've got the right shape yeah I think that looks good and then add a turbo smooth just to see what it looks like yeah that looks pretty good now we need some volume to this because it's boring and flat so just add a shell modifier and put the inner amount up until it reaches the middle like that I think that looks good in fact I think it's a bit too big so scale it down it's, it's up to you you don't have to just make it look how you want it to then once that is done I'm going to add an edit poly modifier and then just move this one up and this one because it doesn't look right once they're added you just move it down a little bit that's that so now we need to add some edges because we're going to turbo smooth this so holding one clicking one even hold shift click the rest as usual in fact we only need we we'll only need one for that just slide the slide control until it reaches the edge and do the same for these but we do want two edges so you want to move the pinch control like that and then we, we're not actually going to see the, those so they can be deleted so now in the front view we have this and now what we're going to do is copy it holding shift drag it up until it's as high as you want it I'm going to do there and I'm going to do try eight copies let's see what happens okay that's not enough I think nine next time nine yeah still nine okay let's do it a bit further trial and error like everything else in 3d modeling that will do so I'm just gonna add a darker gray to this Wrong one. Add a black material. Forgot to add turbo smooth, so I'm going to add turbo smooth to all of these and do it at two iterations. Yep, maybe three. Want to make it look good. Back now, two. 
two is good enough so that's that bit done what I'm actually going to do is move these up selecting only these like that and then for this bottom one hold the select the bottom groove and just drag it down like that then 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 you want to delete the turbo smooth because we're not we need that for a minute and then go to the vertex mode select them all and if you come down to edit geometry click Z then it aligns all the vertices up in one line in the Z axis which is this axis going up but so then just drag that up till it meets the bottom then just add turbo smooth back and we get this which is really cool in fact I want that let's center that to the object just drag it down a bit further and make this a little bit higher now we're gonna have the the uh, base of the grip where the strap is gonna come out let's have a cylinder just any size like that yeah, rotate it to be the right way rotate it 10 degrees as usual well that is nearly perfect we don't need anything fancy just let's see let's convert this to an editable poly and get these these lines up make some grooves here just there to add a little bit of difference now we're gonna actually make these taller so want the grooves a bit bigger need to make the edge constraints of these there and there now these should already be selected so then we want to extrude obviously not like that we want to just click this until it gets to local normal or just click the arrow select local normal reset it do it back once press the plus arrow and then do it back as far as you want I'm just improvising here and then press the plus arrow once you've got it set back reset it and then press it back one more time now we want to inset it just once like that I think that looks alright now let's just add it over smooth see how that looks very okay, cool I like that okay, let's just add a base color to that like we normally do I don't need that at the minute now we need a square shape here so what we're going to do is make actually a rectangle shape should I say we're going to make that shape with these so if we grab these four scale it down we want it about there and then the same to these ones and these ones and then finally the middle ones and then just drag these in this scale tool like that we wanna 
we don't need that so just delete that and with the border select that and then just holding shift scale it in in fact no what I want to do is cap this then select it in polygon mode and inset it that's good then extrude it by one press the plus arrow well what is happening here something's gone wrong extrude where are they where inset yep extrude and that happens which is really weird so just just drag it down if you get that problem and then just in fact we'll do this manually go to edge mode if you if you're having these problems if not that is great I like that do the same thing hold click one hold shift click the rest and then connect we, we want yeah let's just have two Put it up to 99. That looks pretty good. And let's see if we can inset this. Yeah, we can. So that's that done. If we add Turbo Smooth, let's see what happens. You can make these have sharp corners if you want to you basically just got to have a line up here and down there but I like the uh, the curved look and I think that looks quite good so I'm gonna do something different I'm gonna select all of these you don't have to do this just drag it up like that I don't like that. Yeah, just get it back to normal. And then what I want to do is firstly make this hole deeper. So we want to select the middle polygon, click grow twice. So you select all the lines and just, yeah, just drag that down. Now, in the front view, press F3 so you see these lines in, going down. We want to go to the shapes tool thing and click the line tool. Click the line tool. And just draw your shape. You, you won't have this thick line you, you should just have a normal line and I know why mine is because I've already used it and I've changed the thickness and everything so if we just make I don't know just make any shape you want for the grip and then come into the modify panel I'm going to turn render it enabling viewport off Go to vertex mode or just press 1 again, control A to select them all and bezier corner or you can use smooth. So if I use smooth on that, that happens. I can use smooth on all of them. Let's see if is that a big enough handle. These two I'm going to use Bezier Corner. Just make the shape whatever shape you want. I'm going to make this bigger.
that would do that that, that looks alright to me then in the rendering option enable in viewport and then in perspective mode don't worry about this we'll sort that out in a minute change the width is the thickness change that that to whatever size you want and the length is pretty much the width so I'm gonna firstly rotate this 90 degrees and make it stand inside I'm gonna move the line in so it fits inside like that that looks alright and then change the width firstly do that so it fits inside change the width a little bit no the length move it down a little bit I think that looks good now I'm just going to add an edit poly go to edge mode select these edges and connect because I'm gonna want to turbo smooth this you can do the same if you want that way if you add an edit poly instead of converting it to an editable poly you can always go back in and alter the shape like that you can alter it and it's more practical which is exactly what you want in modeling the easier the better and just add those lines in then add a turbo smooth it's a nice smooth line again I'm gonna change the color of this to the dark gray yeah, and let's, let's add some specular change that to black again so yep that's the handle made in fact let's add a little bit of an extra and draw a circle in these shapes panel again and because I've enabled it in viewport it's gonna do the same thing just enable that just make the shape actually change the width to the width you want it again you don't have to follow along with this it is just an extra if you want it I'm gonna put the width down put it down like that get it where I want it and then add the lines again edit poly add the lines connect nope you want pinch I'm gonna isolate that and then again just oh, just the one segment change the slide out and then delete the inside click one hold shift click the rest just like lines and then I'm gonna add a dark grey because I like the look of that and then add to remove the two iterations and I'm gonna group this if I could, yep, just gonna group it for a second. I've uploaded a quick tip on grouping, so check that out if you don't know a lot about grouping, and then just rotate it 90 degrees. It's a little hard to see where I'm looking, where my cursor is, so just look down there and it will tell you that as well. And then left view 
just move it down and then in the back view we want to move it to the center of this of this line here and this line and this that's yeah that's all right just unfreeze all so I can oh, I can actually move that let's just uh, put it on a layer Right, we can ungroup this now. Just change the base color of that. Let's just rotate that to stand it up. Actually, no, what we want to do is to the home view just make it look good so that is the well Thor's hammer nearly tried to pronounce it then that is Thor's hammer hope you learned some tips on doing certain stuff the next video on Thursday will most likely be unwrapping this so we can texture it. We're going to use, um, we're going to unwrap some of it, so mainly this, the hammer head, we're going to unwrap. And maybe this one we're going to texture here in 3ds Max. We'll use Photoshop for this one. So, that is the end of this tutorial. Hope you learnt a lot and enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week for another video.